Here's Bledsoe. On the court for Indiana. We've got Ellis. Paul George is out there with Turner. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's Whiteside in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. In the corner, George with it. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Shot clock at six. Whiteside dishes to Ellis. What are you doing? And Stay lots down. of contact Stay there. Down. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Freak. It's going to be on Freak. Ellis having a terrific game. 12 points and the assist numbers tremendous. His court vision is on par with anybody. I mean, he could not pass the ball any better than he is right now. Nene, he's checked in for Turner. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. And it's freak missing. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. The shot by George, wide open. Off target with the open look. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those points. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. Ellis kicks to Bledsoe. Back to Ellis. Takes a three. That won't go. He's failed to score in six of his 11 tries from the field. Inside, Jefferson. The second effort, he takes it up and lays it in. All of the scoring in tight is coming at that end of the court. You know, they found the holes in the defense and, and really doing a great job of exploiting them. Right side of screen. Now here's Ellis. He's guarded by Chase. Shots good by Ellis. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And a wide open look for Freak. Good on the three-point shot. Freak's got 53. This guy's putting on the clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Ellis with the screen for Bloodsoe. Here's Whiteside. Uses both hands to slam it down. Yeah, and, and guys, that's one of the more basic plays in anybody's playbook, but not to mention also truly one of the best. And Greg, the pick frees him up, and Clark, the dunk, caps it off. Well, you know, for me, guys, it's all about positioning and anticipation on those screen plays, and they got it right there. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Kid Gilchrist, he's checked in for the Hornets. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Hornets. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've really been on fire from beyond the arc tonight, too. I mean, a lot of their points have come from out there. Bloodsoe outside. Ellis with the screen for Bloodsoe. Pass to Ellis. Let's a floater go, and the layup is good. Montez. Ellis has got 14 points here in the second half. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Here's Chase. Good on the triple. Freak's got 59 points. Wow. What can you say? And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Hornets. You're right, Steve. It was a standout performance across the board. They were just uh, at times, Clark, it seemed toying with them. Yeah, like watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin. Quite yeah. honestly, they were able to do more or less, whatever they wanted to do. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The stats tell us, Greg, that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Freak. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Stuckey kicks to Nurkic. Pass to Miles. Here's Bledsoe, rejected by Chase. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. 
Here's Bledsoe, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. What a performance from Bledsoe here. Ten points and seven assists. Eric Bledsoe at the line for two. And he's good on the second. A disappointing trip to the line there. Even though it was just one miss, now is not the time to be missing those. Now here's Freak. He's guarded by Stuckey. Here's Chase. And that one's good. Well, they're going to walk out of here with a win and send this crowd home happy. Yeah, you know, it was a real solid performance for them in a lot of areas. I mean, they should be proud of their work tonight. And Plumley kicks to Nurkic. Plumley in the high post. And there's Miles. That's good on the assist from Plumley. Works that one inside nicely. From deep. And he nails it. The three pointer falls from Chase. This is a serious game clinching run there on. Yeah, I agree with you. Just not backing off here. I mean, they're looking to close this one out in style. What a time to have this kind of surge. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team, Clark, by far tonight. No question about it, Kevin. They certainly gave their fans plenty to scream and holler about. This place was rocking. It was on fire. And it only got louder as that lead got bigger. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And as the fans file out of the building, now time to head over to Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith for the postgame show. The 2K Sports postgame show. Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. It was lights out shooting at its best from him in this game. 60 plus points is rarefied territory that few players ever see in the NBA. But we saw it here tonight, truly jaw dropping. What can you say about the show he put on tonight? That was simply basketball greatness. You hardly get a player that gets that focused, that determined. He did the work of three players out there tonight and got the points to prove it. Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels, Ernie. Too many levels to talk about. Man, in some game, he's in the background. He doesn't get the chance to be the star of the show. But not tonight. He's the star tonight. Put him on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.